Hello animators, Locodrome Map 1.2 is now live on Gumroad and should be up on Fab soon pending approval. Here's a quick walkthrough of all the new features and how to use them. First, and most frequently requested, you can now rename your custom selection sets. Just double click, type in the name, and hit enter and your button's renamed. As before, these custom sets are persistent and remain even after you restart Unreal. Second, unkey selected, so you can selectively delete keys without hunting for keyframes in sequencer. Just select the control you want to wipe and hit on key selected, and any keys on it at the current time will be deleted. Third, key mover. Just a simple set of utility buttons that move keys around in relation to the playhead. The first one moves keys to the left of the playhead for their left, next one moves them to the right, and so on. It's pretty self-explanatory and helpful when you're retiming stuff. Fourth, a big one. Customizable user settings. Hit the gear icon you can tune that to your own working style. Some of you don't like the WASD QE keyboard for workflow, so you can turn it off selectively for face and body. If you want to change the sensitivity, you can adjust the default increments for face and body, translation, and rotation individually. Some of you have reported performance issues and FPS drops, especially with heavily nested sequences. So I've made a bunch of performance tweaks under the hood, but one of the biggest performance hogs is this live polling of the FKIK and animation channels so that the checkboxes and mat always accurately reflect the current state of the rig. If you don't care about this or your animation does not have a lot of back and forth switching, you can turn off the live poll and your performance should jump quite a lot. And finally, some love for those of us working with props. The world transform buttons are great for getting stuff in the general area of the hand, but if you have, for example, a sword that you want precisely positioned and you don't want to do it over and over again, the standard solution is sockets placed on the skeleton. Since Matt connects to the control rig and not to the skeleton, it can't see those sockets. So my solution for my own workflow has been to add some dummy socket controls to the metahuman control rig and then give them imaginative names like hand R socket and hand L socket, and then select those using Matt. If you enable socket controls through the setting panel, these two new buttons pop up in the hand panels, and then placing the sword in your character's hand is as simple as selecting the sword and pressing the snap to socket button. And that's it for this update. It's been genuinely overwhelming in the best way to hear all the stories of people using Matt in clever ways, and even on some pretty big productions, which is cool. And many of the features above were suggestions from industry professionals, so keep the stories and feedback coming. You're helping me make Matt better and better with each release. Thanks, and happy animating.